Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Astara Farm. Micah and I are here working on our farm, and we have the Imperador. We're getting ready to fill this guy up and then get it out on the field uh, and use some solid fertilizer. I'm going to fill it up with liquid, too, though, just so we have it. I think we just have to park next to this, right, Micah? Is that how that works? I think so. I, I moved it out there so there you can go. move around it a bit. So we're filling up liquid. Now, I haven't used this one before, so I'm going to have to figure out how to get it switched back and forth between the solid and the liquid. But the liquid fertilizer, you really don't want to put down until things are growing. So, And so there's that. And where is the seed tender, Micah? It's out in the field. Okay, it's still up there? Yeah. Like the same place that it was before? Mm-hmm. All right, so let's get, hop in the cab here and drive on up. What a neat device. I love these big fertilizers. We, I really haven't had any farms where we get to use it yet. Oh, no. One thing that's cool on this tractor, of course, it's the only thing that's operating, but um, you can see there on the on the digital display uh, on our Stara computer, uh, we have our RPMs and the miles per hour that we're traveling um, actually functioning on the screen. That's pretty neat. Uh, I, I, probably some of the other tractors do that. That's the first time I've noticed that, though. Um, but uh, Estara is really big on, of course, you know, the apps and, and keeping track of the amount of fertilizer you've used and what fields have what on them and stuff. So it's, it's pretty cool. Wait a minute. I don't see it up there, Mike. Are you sure? Over here by the barn. <laughs> you said it was in the same place. Yeah. I used it over here. Oh, okay. <laughs> I drove all the way up here for nothing. Fine, Micah. Same language, different understanding. <laughs> this is how denominations occur. <laughs> Here, I'll come to you. Okay, I'm by the big. I'm by Big Bud. I'll meet you near near Big Bud's butt. <laughs> big Bud's arse. Oh, it's by that barn. Okay. So let's see if we can open the back end. How do we do that? Let me figure this out, Mike. It's going to take me a minute. I got to look at our the F menu. Open cover eleven. There we go. How much will that thing hold? Not a ton. I mean, it's okay. going to be less than what's in the tender. I want to say maybe like three thousand, two thousand, something like that. See my open my open rear. That's like that's like. Do you want me to? Do you want me to pull in underneath it? He said, "Hmm." <laughs> yeah, I was thinking if I could raise if I can raise the arm. Yeah, the it's arm. a little low. There we go. Oh, we're under it. We're good. Oh, we're not. Never mind. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah. All right, I'm going to go forward. I think you should be able to do it now. I got an idea. Put that in it. Uh, I can't back up where I put this thing. working I try to can you overload it does it over do you have to press a button to make it go or does it just go oh my bot it should go on its own no it's not get a little closer oops oops <clears throat> yeah maybe we need to put this in the back of a semi <laughs> no I probably just need to get next to a packet that's probably that That'll work. It works for the cedars, obviously, but not for this. So I get it under. No, nope, it's not going to work. So I'll just get it. I'll get Sorry. it from a cedar, or from a packet. I'll just go down to the shop. Oh, Bummer. You know why, it wasn't working? why? It wasn't tipped. Oh. <laughs> I didn't unfold it. That's why it wasn't working. All right, I'll back up. Maybe, uh, well. 
You know, let's be smart about this. Why don't you back up to the hill so that your butt's facing the hill and I'll go on the hill so that I'm lower than you? Well, then that would, that would be... Yeah, okay. You said that would, that would be, be what? <laughs> that would be really smart. <laughs> There we go. Now I'm underneath it. Well, still touching it. The arms kind of have longer... Oh, for crying out loud. Nope. Really? It's just not. It won't. It's too high. Pipe out. The, 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 the touch is... Fertilizer. Auger. The, the touch zone is just too... I mean, there's like a four, There's like a 14-foot, like... Didn't seem to work, did it? Nope. Oh well, we tried. Next. <laughs> yeah. We'll have to get a couple packets and bring them up here using the, the uh, telehandler. But we don't have to do that now. And that's okay, because that thing works well for the cedar, so that's really what it's for anyway. But, um, too bad we couldn't use it for this. Oh, are there pack? Oh, there's fertilizer in the barn already. Look at that. Yeah. I'll just pull in there. Now, can you fill that up using those packets, though? I think I L could. Let me do these for now, but. Back this thing up, though. Yeah. Let me do that here. So it takes 400, 500. It looks like it's going to take about the same, though, at 2,400. There's 1,000. There's. Okay. Oh, shoot. Watch your mouth. Yeah, it takes 2,700. Okay. Oh, wow. So it's like just a little tiny bit left in that packet. All right. Off to the fields. Okay, so close that bin hopper. And let's see if we can turn it. Where's the work button? Okay, it's it's on sprayer right now, so I need to figure out how to get it to liquid fertilizer. Button number one. Hmm. That's the horn. Nope. Nope, nope. So none of those buttons. How about this? Nope, 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 nope. Okay, one. Hmm. That's funny. Turning this on turns that on and off. Uh. Uh. Okay, there's there it is. So X is button number one, solid fertilizer. Okay. So then turn spray around. There we go. Okay. I'm getting to work. So X is the button. Man, it's getting really windy outside. Wow. <laughs> my trees are no. Please don't close my windows. See, it was you. Open that window back up all the way. It was you. You're No, it was you. Don't say stuff like that. That's rude. Come on, do this. Okay, wow, this is a really wide spread. Dang it, that means I'm wasting some of it, but oh well. So we'll get this field caught up to that one. We don't use solid fertilizer too often on this farm, but... Now, can you tell me, can you look at the fertilization for field number two? The, the sugar beet field that we planted, is that fertilized or no? I don't, I don't think we did fertilize it. Okay, so I need to run over there and use this over there, too, because that's... Uh, yeah, it's one, because we did uh, a seed hort, uh, horse radish. No. Okay. So I'll do... I'll, I'll put... Uh, I suppose we could do... Do we have weeders or no? No. So it's got one stage. Yeah, it's one stage. So I'll go put, I'll go put solid down then over there, too. I'll see you next year. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah. No, stop the cedar. Turn it off. There we go. Okay. 
Then what I'll do is, uh, yeah, I was just running around the in the semi looking grass fields or fields, but okay, didn't sign. Yeah, didn't you're find right. Anything. We're just gonna have to buy a field and turn to grass. Yep. Or just turn one of our fields into grass because we don't really need these. Once we get produ producing, we'll only need like one weed field and one grass field. So, or so maybe the two smaller ones will make grass, or make the one big one grass and keep the other ones wheat. This field's nice and big though. I almost feel like we should keep this as a crop field. Oh gosh, yeah. And then, uh, and then you know, use the um, the smaller fields as grass fields because we don't get a whole lot of crop off of those. But this is a nice big chunk of crop, so. I mean, 14 might even be enough to produce for, I mean, I, it's going to take us a while to build up cows, so we might, even if we just do that one for, number 14 field as grass, that might be all we need. Because then we also have some grass back here by the barn, by our uh, Stara, the Stara shed. So um, there's plenty of grass right there, too. Now, what about that land up by the, the silage um, maker? Uh, let me look at the map. Like, I'm looking right at it right now. It's, like, straight ahead of me. There's the, the the field here, but then there's also a field that's, like, next to the silage bunker. Right here by the cow farm. Oh, yeah. Like, can it's we mow that, too? Is that mowable? It looks like it's mowable from here. Yeah, I th yeah, that is. Okay. I think there's a fence around it, I believe. Part of it, yeah. It would be nice if they, had, if they made it so we could cut down these bushes. Right. I don't know when you mow if they go away or not. Oh, so close. I might just leave that. We're so close to being like a full pass. I hate to waste another full pass going down, you know. Oh. <laughs> it's like right on the edge. Good enough. Yeah, we can mow all this. We can mow if you want to. We can mow all of this right here. Well, that's good then, so maybe we don't even really need to have a grass field. All this to do about grass. down stop and go breaking oh would you mind putting big bud and the great plane cedar away oh not at all sorry <laughs> you're like what I forgot to do it hello so was it pretty messy up on top of that plateau? Yeah. Yeah, it's 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 real messy. Yeah. Sloppy. Yeah, it's real bumpy. It's the grass is it's stony up there. So. Oh man. Okay. It's mostly just bushes. George bushes. George Bush. That's my middle name. Don't wear it out. George? My middle name is George. Now you go by Arthur Chapman. Yes. Oh, wait. Okay, so your real name is something else, isn't it? Like Mexican? No, I was born with another name, but... My mom had it legally changed, so I'm actually... Changed, legal. okay. I am legally Arthur Chapman. You what? I, I am legally Arthur Chapman, but my name was originally Zorro, James Bond Chapman. No, I'm just kidding. What? <laughs> yeah, I was kidding. Are <laughs> just, you lying? Yeah. But my Zorro? name, I, I really did have another name, but that wasn't it. <laughs> I can't back so up. So you are, you are lying, you're just, you're just making yeah. my chain. Yeah. But no, I was born uh, Arturo, that was my... Okay, that's right. Okay, I thought it was something. And then I had my father's last name, but then when they got divorced, she changed it to English. So. I couldn't imagine naming my kid Zorro James Bond. <laughs> <laughs> Stranger things have happened, Micah. Stranger things have happened. Ryan, you got to get to the store. 
You got my texted list, right? Go check your phone, because I texted you a list of things that we need. Yeah, we can mow that. I wonder if the bushes will go away when we mow it. But we can mow that, yes. Maybe. We'll have to see. No, you know what, Micah? I don't think we can mow this. The grass is a different color when it gets into the pampas grass here. So I don't think we can mow that. So we are going to have to do a field. We'll just do 14. That'll be fine. But that's down the road. That's for another time. Another place. Seth, what are you doing, boy? Did you floss? You need to floss, kid. <laughs> I've been pretty good about flossing lately. I really hate flossing, but... I've been doing it. About every night you've been brushing your teeth? About, you know, yeah, he had to have some teeth pulled. Mm -hmm. They weren't adult teeth, though, were they? He had a baby tooth that was totally rotted out, and they had to pull it, and, of course, that's extremely painful. So. Oh, they numbed it? Isn't the numb? <laughs> Stuck the needle in your face? Oh, my mouth! <laughs> what is that? Am I tasting blood? What is that? Where's my lips? Yeah, it this does. It is does. How we do it. Or what's the what's the Veggie Tale song? The his lip the lip song. Yeah. And he does a lip solo. Uh oh, I gotta get this. Hang on, folks. We'll be right back. Yay! My couch is coming. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, that's be Fifteen minutes. Sweet. I told Seth he's got to watch for him. I said, Seth, you got to watch. He's like, what do you mean I got to watch? I'm like, I mean, you got to look out the window. Ten more minutes. So we'll record the ep end of this episode, then I probably should get going, Mike. I'm sorry. Okay. But at least we got to get some done, you know. And then maybe tomorrow night, if you're available. Are you busy tomorrow night, Micah? I don't think so. All right. We'll have to see what's going on, but maybe I can play tomorrow night, too. And we'll do some Ford Farm. We are recording, by the way, so don't swear. I'm just kidding. I don't think I've ever heard you swear, Micah. Uh, it happens on occasion. Uh, yeah, me too. <laughs> like, Some... there's certain words I don't ever say. Right. Like, I don't like the F word. I don't like anything where I put God or gosh or something like that in it. Yeah. You know, because I call it the Christian cuss word, you know, or whatever, but... Right. But sometimes you just get upset. <laughs> I'm a... I... I do swear occasionally. I try really hard not to, but sometimes I'm just like, bloop! And then the kids are like, Dad! I remember, like, like, my dad, <laughs> like, what was that show? Like, you ever watched What About Bob? The movie? Yeah. No. Uh -uh. You never seen What About Bob? Nope. Oh my gosh. Well, there's a scene in there where Richard Dreyfus is so upset that he just can't even get the cuss word out, <laughs> or just even talk. For it. He's like, rah, 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 rah. like you know, it's like, and I'm just, it just reminds me of my dad when I was growing up. Oh, that's so funny. You, know, you son of. A... <laughs> yeah, he's just like, <laughs> it's just like, you know. What's the grill like? Huh? Like a grill lighter, Ryan. Like one of those, you know, ch ch the clicky lighters that have the... Oh, okay, we'll find it, and then we I'll use it. But I, I didn't see it anywhere, so... Oh, my gosh, Micah, that's hilarious. <laughs> Field service. I don't need it yet. I'm still, like, 80% full. <laughs> oh, really? Okay. Yeah. That thing is <laughs> ridiculous. Well, it's only half full. Oh, was it at the... No, I don't. That's how these how, how these are worn, honey. Like I just not wear them. Put it uh, put it in the barn with the ropa stuff. That way, it's nearby. <laughs> That's hilarious, dude. <laughs> Micah flexing his muscles. Look at all that. Look, he's beat. You're you're cut. You're ripped. <laughs> That's hilarious, dude. I think this thing could take it, couldn't it? What's that? 
lifting this thing. I think it would be able to do it. If it was full? Yeah. I don't know, man. I think that's like front front loader would have a hard time with that when it's full. Yeah, I see you tipping. <laughs> What's up? You guys need to keep an eye open for the truck, please. I'm just trying to finish up this episode. I could you just go sit in there and keep an eye open for the truck? Violet will not even notice it came. You can in like ten minutes you can be done. As soon as they're good done, you can do whatever, Seth. But until then just you gotta wait. Short sleeve what? No, not really. I'm wearing the only pair that I have. You excited, Ryan? <laughs> what am I gonna? I don't even know what to wear. My fr our, my kid's friend Zach is getting married, and I was invited to the wedding. I don't even know what to wear. Where is this? Where? Where's? What church is it at? Okay, yeah. Text me this. Text me the information. Oh, so you're just because you're riding the Mark? Okay. Yeah, I need you to text me both the address for that and for the reception and the times. You said the ceremony's at 11, right? <laughs> okay. He's in the wedding. He doesn't know what time the ceremony is. <laughs> well, they'll go over that tonight because doing, they're doing the rehearsals. So. Uh, your mom's coming over. There's a trouble in paradise. <laughs> She's uh, starting to try to find a new place to live. Who is? <laughs> My ex-wife. Oh. Uh. Yeah. Just a big, big fight on Wednesday, I guess. She came over here to, to drop the kids off Thursday, and like, what's going on? And she's like, Oh, nothing. <laughs> I was like, Uh oh, uh oh. She's like, It's fine, it's fine. I'm like, Oh, oh, okay. I know, I no boy. <laughs> it's like, dodge another bullet. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, sorry, but you can't come here. Ooh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> But she's going to hang out here with the kids. You're uh, finally reaping it, you know? Right. Well, people keep taking her in, though. That's the problem. She needs to get to the point where she's, you know, on her own and can figure actually what real life is like, you know? Oh, we know how that's going to happen. That's right. Oh, well, what are you going to do? Please don't step on that with your foot. That's right, because that's right, I guess it's all a bunch of BS. <laughs> you know, love is a choice. you got to work on it. It's, not, it's never easy. It's not easy. There's times when it's great and fun and super, and there's other times where it's like, oh, my gosh, this is work. Ain't that the truth? You know, it's, learning, it's mostly learning how to get along with people. I mean, that really is what it is. Well, you know, it's like, it's like kind of like, you know, it's like, is it worth what I want? Is what I want worth the fight? Right, because sometimes you do have to fight stuff, right? It's not always yeah. like that. I don't want to make it seem like it's always like that, though. It's not. There's also really good times, too. Yeah. For the most part, well, it's good I mean, times, it's like, but the bad times are rough. If you're going to argue with somebody for something, is it really worth it? Oh, right, yeah. Got to pick your battles. Yeah. I think being being married's worth it though, but Right. It's definitely yeah, I do worth too. But it is it's like is, you know you know, making sure that the toothbrush is put back in that same drawer every time. Is right. That worth it? <laughs> yeah. Okay, we're gonna need another bag of uh of uh fertilizer. Solid. Solid fertilizer? Yeah, we are we have no solid fertilizer anywhere except for what was left in that bag. How much was left in that big bag? Uh, 3,000. And I, okay, put it next to the, I put it next to the barn with the Europa stuff in it so you could fill up easy. That should be in, we should be fine. And do we have a big liquid one too or no? No, I didn't see any liquid. We, we, I want to be careful because we're really, those are like $10,000 a pop. Okay. And we have 33,000 bucks left. So I almost... I think we'll okay. be able to get through this round um, without having to buy more fertilizer, but 
because um, I think I've got enough in here. There's probably enough in here to finish m most of this field, and then I'll use up what's... Because that this thing only holds 2,700, so that 3,000 will be, you know, enough to finish this off. But we do need okay. to do a liquid pass on all of these fields. Can you well, check for me what fields are what? Like, they should all be at stage one at this point, or except for the sugar beets, which will be at stage two. Actually, 14 stage two... Oh, good. Because remember, I use my. Uh, oh, that's right. You're right. You're right. So one, two, and fourteen are stage two. Oh, they're all stage two then. Yep, they'll all be stage two. Okay, so all we have to do is spray. So that we that I'll probably have to buy a spray one, but but that's you know. Um, well, I'm just letting you know that we have no more fertilizer on the farm. Okay, so we we will have to buy um, some more on the next yeah. pass. Okay. Sooner or later. See, I really uh, like this telehandler. Yeah. I do too. The the the, the really, Manitoba. I mean, the model is Manitoba. nice. This model is really yeah. Sharp. It's well done. It looks really good. Yep. I'm 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 thinking I'm about halfway done here with this field. Well, you know, if the uh, the delivery guys come early, I can just jump in and take over if you need to. Okay, maybe we'll do that. And then that way it'll be, it'll be, it'll be finished. Okay, like we won't record that part, but we'll... Yeah, you can just here stop we're, the recording. We're planning call. recording while we're recording. Everyone, you can hear our plans. This is what yeah. we're going to do. So Michael will finish this field. Oh, yeah. They said 15 minutes. It's been 9 minutes and 45 seconds. Plus a little yelling at Seth, so. Well, what show would not be a show without your little yelling at Seth? That's right. Seth just seems to need a little extra guidance sometimes. Man, I am feeling really nappy. Ms. Yeah? Ms. 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 Bugs texted me and said she took a two-hour nap. I'm like, lucky. No, oh, you're just jealous. <laughs> I am jealous. She, uh... She doesn't ever sleep well. She's always, like, having sleeping problems. And so I'm glad to hear that. She's like, that's the longest nap I've ever taken. I'm like, that's awesome. <laughs> Obviously, you needed it. <laughs> sleep is good for the body. I slept good last night, though. I don't know why I need a nap, because I went to bed at midnight and got up at, like, 9. So I got Yesterday, after I got home from therapy... My aunt was over, made my mom something to eat, and and so I just tilted in the living room, or in the kitchen, just tilted back in the kitchen a little bit, and my aunt walked to the walked to the bedroom, and next thing I know, I woke up and she's leaving, and I'm like, oh. did I fall asleep in the kitchen? <laughs> fall asleep in the kitchen. So do you, can you sleep sitting up? Well, my chair will tilt a bit. So it's enough that you feel like you're, like... Yeah, like it'll recline like a like a like a lazy boy, like a hammock. Mm -hmm. Well, um, yeah, I can't. I'm a very picky sleeper. I don't, um, I don't sleep when I'm, um, like upright. Like I can't sleep in the car unless I'm really, really exhausted. Mm -hmm. And then um, sometimes I'll pull over to rest stop and sleep though. But like when we're driving, like I just can't. I can't relax enough to fall asleep. Uh, I unless was the I'm, same way until last year. If I'm like exhausted. I never slept in cars, nothing. But see, my ex-wife was a real jerky driver too, so she'd be like jerking around, like I'm like almost asleep, and I felt like we were going off the road. I'm like, ah. <laughs> and she's, you well, know, and she like she when she passes trucks, she would she would pass trucks like. I'm like, you don't just go around them. You don't have to like accelerate, you know. Anyway, so it was hard to sleep. I don't know. She's a rough driver, so I, I could never sleep with her driving, but. Um, I just, I don't know. I, I never got used to it. But I, like, when I sleep, I can't sleep on my back. I sleep on my side. So. Oh, I have to sleep on my back. Most people do. I never did before I broke my neck. Interesting. Yeah, it also, it would probably be you? hard to sleep on your side. Well, when I was in rehab, I did. But I had to have the well, the nurses. They'd have to come in and turn me every three hours. So every three hours, I was woken up. Oh my goodness! Okay, that's not good sleep. Yeah, they come in and roll you onto your other side. 
Hey, Violet. Violet, go look for the truck. I want you to go look for the truck, too. Play in Ryan's room. Make sure you tell me as soon as you see that truck. Go. Because I'm, I'm getting nervous that Seth's not doing a good job watching. Just go and, and, and be there. Just watch out the window. They'll be here any minute. I think I got anyway um, so ladies and gentlemen I'm probably just gonna get going because I'm getting nervous that my kids aren't doing a good job I don't want those guys coming and sitting down there like waiting for somebody to show up and nobody's showing up so uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Astara Farm as we've got our fields prepped and got to put the Imperador to use with the solid fertilizer and uh, like I said we'll be using the liquid fertilizer too once the crops pop a step but uh, we are definitely underway here with our, our um, first harvest our first uh, planting and, and we should be able to get uh, some serious stuff done so Micah uh, I'm gonna hop out here and do you want to take over sure. all right ladies and gentlemen be sure to subscribe thumbs up always help there's our gorgeous Imperador what a nice piece of equipment that thing is huh it is really cool good looking good looking device I love it so anyway have a good night guys and we will see you next time uh, be sure to watch our Friday night live streams and we will see you guys on the farm